Most people, when looking to lose weight, put most or all of their focus on what they eat. Which is important, don't get me wrong. But do you know that how you eat can be a critical factor in healthy weight loss? I'll show you a simple Japanese concept that does not involve dieting or changing what you eat and if followed makes healthy weight loss possible. I'll show you that concept and more right after this. Hi, I'm Howard of Trini Gervik Health, where it's believed that health and wellness is a choice and not up to chance. Therefore, this channel addresses health and wellness topics and gives tips and strategies so that you can make the right choice. Most people, when looking at losing weight, tend to focus on diet and exercise. With diet, most people tend to focus on what foods they eat, how much of those said foods that they are eating, and what they should avoid or minimize eating. Now surely there is a time and place to focus on the types and kinds of food one is consuming. But do you know that how you eat your food can play a role in how much food you eat? To explain what I mean, I'll go to a small Japanese island called Okinawa. In his book, The Blue Zone Solution, Dan Butner told of various stories and lessons learned while traveling the world, meeting people who enjoyed healthy and long lives, and when I mean long, 80s 90s, 100 and beyond. These areas are termed the blue zones. Okinawa being one of these said blue zones, where up until recent times, it was the home to the longest living woman on the planet. One of the lessons that Dan learned from his time in Okinawa was a 25 hundred year old adage called Hara Hachebu. Hara Hachebu is an adage intoned like a prayerful chant before eating. This reminds traditional Okinawans to stop eating when their stomach is 80% full. According to Dan, it takes about 20 minutes for the feeling of fullness to reach from the stomach to the brain. Therefore, this pre-meal ritual increases the likelihood of sensing the satiety signal and stopping eating before the stomach reaches 100% fullness. Dr. Leslie Little, an expert in child health promotion and childhood obesity prevention, estimated that if the average American can follow the concept of Hara Hachibu, he or she can lose 17 pounds in one year. Korean people, I hope you are listening and taking note. Coincidentally, in my certification training as a level one nutrition coach from Precision Nutrition, one of the skills that is learned and imparted to level one clients to meet their goals are regulating eating behaviors. Now to develop the skill of regulating eating behaviors, there are certain practices that are to be consistently practiced. One of the practices that are suggested in the level one coaching curriculum is the practice of eating slowly and mindfully. This habit is encouraged 
by traditional Okinawans through the concept of Hara Hachebu. Another insight by Dan Butner about the concept of Hara Hachebu and other pre-meal rituals is that food is not to be taken for granted in order to reach to our plates food had to go through a process from animal or from the land to our plates it is a product of hard work putting attention on the food to be eaten gives the food a lot more value Food is not to be gobbled down or hoovered down, but it has to be savored and respected because food is a blessing. It's easy to lose the sight of the fact that food is a blessing where food is all around. Also, just pausing before eating makes the mealtime a time of enjoyment and relaxation. A time to de-stress and unwind. A moment to savor and relish. Eating with this mindset has its health benefits. As mentioned before by Dr. Little, Hara Hachibu and other pre-meal rituals can encourage weight loss by encouraging each one of us to eat less without even making a concerted effort to do so. Another important reason why the practice of Hara Hachibu or other pre-meal rituals is important is in the area of digestive health. Eating food in a hurried or stressed state can cause digestive problems. To explain further, here is Derek Simnet of Simnet Nutrition recounting his experience of a digestive health problem that he had and what he did to overcome that. I want to make sure that you're eating in a nice and relaxed state. I know, not very exciting. I know you guys wanted to hear that you had to eat some rare bean from the corner of the rainforest in order to improve your digestion. But no, these are all going to be practical tips that we can all start doing today. So relax and take a couple deep breaths before you eat. We must activate our body's parasympathetic nervous system in order to properly release gastric juices and also maximize the motility of our gut moving things along. Without those two things working simultaneously together and working properly, food can either move too quickly through our digestive tract, too slowly, or it won't get broken up enough and it'll just be sitting in our intestine just fermenting, causing gas being bad. <laughs> the absolute worst my digestion ever was since I switched to a vegan diet almost 10 years ago now was when I was working two jobs, I was going to school, I was riding my bike to all those things, I was trying to make gains in the gym, and I was eating in a caloric surplus, so I was just hammering calories all day, drink a quick smoothie, ride my bike, get to school, eat something uh, on my lunch break at work, i just sit in the back and try and get as many calories down as I could, and yeah, it ended up wrecking me and it totally affected my gut and then it started to affect my energy levels and a lot of things went downhill from there and uh, it wasn't until I realized what it was and took a step back from what I was doing that things improved. I tried so many things uh, different like uh, herbal remedies and that sort of stuff and nothing really helped but the one thing that did was just taking a few deep breaths relaxing and making sure I'm in a calm state before I eat. So as you can see just practicing the concept of pausing and putting yourself in a relaxed state before eating is not something to be glossed over. It can have tremendous benefits for your health and well-being. I understand that this may be a relatively new concept for most of you out there. And it might be difficult to do this in a world full of stress and distractions. But this concept of Hara Hachibu or just pausing before eating is something that you can apply today and practice every day at least once a day. To help you, here are some recommendations that Dan Buttonan gave in his book. Try pausing before eating and say, saying Hara Hachibu just before you begin to eat. If you are really religiously inclined, say grace before meals or any other similar prayer. 
or simply pause for a moment of silence, recognizing the sacredness of the food. Here is my own personal recommendation. Use mealtime as your happy place, a time to distress on wine, to let go of all the burdens that you had during the day. A moment to savor and to relish. Just practicing this once a day for at least six to eight weeks. I challenge you, practice it and see if you get any benefits from doing this practice. If you do or don't, either way, if you would like, feel free to offer any feedback in the comment section below. I would love to know your experience from doing this exercise, whether it be positive or negative. So question of the day, what was your major takeaway from this video? Feel free to comment below your major takeaways. And if you have any other feedback, whether positive or negative, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with somebody who would benefit from it, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like these. A link to Dan Butiner's book, The Blue Zone Solution, will be provided in the description box below. Also, if you want to see Derek Simnet's five simple tips for less gas, bloating, and heartburn, a link we will be provided to that video in the description box below. So until next time, be safe and be well. And remember, health and wellness are more about choices and less about chances. <laughs>